Hello, this is a stretch, release and relax video. It's here to stretch out your body and hopefully calm a busy mind. You will need either a couple of yoga bricks if you have those, or you can actually use two hardback books, something like that. It's just for a little bit of support on some of the stretches. You won't need those at the beginning. You will also need a pillow, or if you have a block, you can use one of those. Um, and place that towards the end of your mat. So we're just gonna lie yourself down. Get comfy and take a moment to just tune in to notice how your body is feeling now, making any little adjustments that you need to to release that tension away and then bring your focus to your breathing. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And we're just finding a nice, easy rhythm to the breath. And then on your next in-breath, you're going to take the arms over your head. So you're going to flex the feet. And as you exhale, bring the arms forwards and point the toes down. Do the same again, inhaling, arms come up and over, flexing the feet. Exhaling, pointing the toes, arms come forwards. So next time the arms come over and you flex the feet, stay there. I'm gonna interlink the fingers and push the palms away if that feels right for your shoulders, or you can just have your hands out at shoulder width apart. As you're holding that there, push out through the right heel. So we lengthen the right leg a little. And then same thing with the left. So we're moving from right, to left. As you do that, just feel your hips moving, your pelvis moving, and in turn, your lower back moving. And then come back to the center, press out through both heels. Let the feet relax. Draw the right knee into your chest. Hug it in. So you're lengthening again flexing the feet and pushing out through the left heel as we draw the right knee closer and closer. Just feel a release to the back of the hip, back of the thigh and into the lower back. Let the feet relax. Keep hold of the knee with the left hand and carefully take that knee across to the left side. Checking your right shoulder is down and breathing a little bit more into that right side where we've created some space. Anytime you feel the muscles relax, you might want to take that knee a little bit further. And then come back to the middle. We switch hands. So the right hand holds the knee. We take the right knee out wide and just allow the leg to be heavy. So we're gently opening the hip. We're letting gravity take over. Bring that knee back to the middle. Bring both knees into your chest. Hold on to the legs and you rock from side to side. Just massaging the back of the body into the floor. Come back. Both hands come around that left knee and we slide the right leg out. Flexing both feet, pushing out through the right heel, drawing the left leg closer. Just being aware of any differences from one side to the other. Anytime you feel you can, you might want to draw that leg in a little bit closer. Let the feet relax. Keep hold of the knee with the right hand. We take the knee across to the right side and just check that that left shoulder stays down. Directing the breath into the left side and using each exhalation just relax. Come 
come back to the middle. I'm going to switch hands, left hand holds the knee, take the knee out wide and allow that leg to be heavy again, opening the hip. Carefully come back into the middle. You're going to bring both knees into your chest, hold on to the legs and just rock from side to side. Same as we did before. They feel a little bit looser, a little bit easier. Come back to the middle. You're going to take a breath, take the arms over your head, extend the legs and flex the feet. And as you exhale, bend the knees and curl up into a little ball. As you inhale, place the feet to the floor, lift the hips up. And as you exhale, lower down and again, curl up into a ball. We're gonna keep that going, extending the arms and legs, curling up, placing the feet down, lifting the hip. This time we lift the arm, lower down, curl up into a ball. One more go, extending arms and legs, tucking up, placing the feet down, lifting the hips, arms over the top, gently release, hugging the knees in. This time head comes down, extend the legs, but hold on to the backs of the thighs and let's flex and point the toes. Stretching calves, backs of the knees, all the way down. And then flex the feet, keep them flexed. Take the hands a little higher, maybe to the calves or maybe to the big toes. Drawing the legs towards you, pressing the tailbone down. So we're looking to lengthen the legs, but not with a great deal of force. So if you have your knees bent and you're holding the big toes, then you'd do better to take the hands a little lower. Gently release, pop the feet to the floor. Let's bring feet and knees together. Take the arms out wide and carefully move the knees from side to side. how that feels around the lower back and around the hips. And then next time the knees go over to the right side, roll the body over and bring yourself up to sitting. So we're going to come up into a seated position and you're going to take your right leg out wide and tuck your left foot in and just taking a nice level position with the hips and with the pelvis. If you want to use the pillow, you can pop it under your thigh or you can sit on it just to lift your hips and make it a little bit more open through the hips. So making sure both sides of your bottom are down, taking a breath and opening the arms. As you exhale, we place the left hand down and pick up the right arm. Inhale to open the chest and then exhale, go the other way. It's a nice gentle flow from side to side, using the repetition to release the muscles and just focus in on what you're doing. The next time we go over to the left, we're gonna reach up that little bit higher and then take that side bend. And you can start to bend your left elbow if that feels right for you. Making sure the right side of your bottom stays on the mat. Directing the breath into the right side, expanding the rib cage. Slowly up you come sitting up tall, left hand stays to the floor, right hand comes to the thigh and we take a little twist. So we turn through the ribs, the chest, the shoulders and then the head. Come back to the middle, taking a breath, lifting both arms, 
and as you exhale, come forwards. Hands come to the floor, letting the head drop. And just make sure the bottom is still in contact with the floor. Notice how it feels around the hips, the lower back, the inner thighs. And then from there, walk your hands over to the right. We place the hands either side of that right leg and just drop the nose towards the knee. So you can keep your hands to the floor, you can hold the shin, or you could hold the foot. Slowly walking the hands in, lifting the chest. And then just bring that right leg forwards. So a little bit more stretch for the hip. We're going to take your left foot and place it onto your right thigh. Now it may be that that's too much. Maybe you want to place the foot onto the shin. You decide where you want to be. And then we lean back a little. So we're starting to open out the hip. If that feels okay and you want to go a little further, bend your right knee. So we're easing out a little bit more and you should feel an increased stretch on the left side. If that feels okay, we can bring the foot closer, we can move the bottom in and then try and sit up a little taller so we lengthen the spine at the same time. See how that feels? Keep moving your bottom towards your heels or your heel towards your bottom until you find that sweet spot, that point where that is enough of a stretch for you. So if you can lift the chest a little bit more, all the time just working on that flexibility. And then lean back a little, slide the right leg out and we come back up. So we're going to change sides, we're taking the left leg out, we're tucking the right foot in and again make any little adjustments, pillows, blankets, whatever you're using. Take a breath and open the arms. And as you exhale, hand comes down. We find your side bend. Inhale, exhale, go the other way. So opening the chest, leaning into it. Let's do one more like that. Time you go over to the right, stay there. So we're lifting up and then over. Both sides of your bottom are down. And so if you can bend your right elbow just a little, just to take things a bit further. Slowly come up sitting up tall, you're going to turn to look to the right, right hand to the floor, left hand to the knee. So we turn ribs, chest, shoulder, look over the shoulder and just find that twist. breathing in. As you breathe out, come forwards. Hands come down. Let the head drop. Make sure both sides of your bottom are in contact with your mat. Just going a little further with the hands if that feels okay.
slowly up you come and bring that left leg in and then we do the same so we're going to work into this right hip you can take the foot to the thigh or if you'd rather just come to the shin and keep it at that lower level and then we lean back so we're opening the chest you can stay there or you can bend the knee keeping the foot flexed easing that right knee away a little bit tighter on this side for me if we've got a little bit more we can take the bottom closer to the foot or the foot closer to the bottom and then we lift the chest holding steady so keep thinking about your upper body posture and go a little bit further if you can and then gently release so we slide the leg out take the foot off and rock the legs so we're going to come up onto your hands and knees now so shoulders are over wrists, hips are over knees, taking a breath, looking ahead of you. As you breathe out, tuck the chin in and round the spine, and then sit the bottom back towards the heels and see if you can move those hands a little further forwards. We come back up through that rounded cat position, come forwards and lower the hips. Doing the same again, sitting back, Coming forwards and lowering the hips. So we'll do that a few times through. Working within a range that feels right for you. And next time you sit back to child's pose, just stay there. So from here, walking those hands in, lifting the chest. So we're gonna take the bricks now, or you can use your two uh, books or whatever else you have to use. Step your right foot forwards and just place the bricks either side and you will be able to move these around a little. So we're gonna move into the hip. So we sink into the hip and then take the weight back. Weight comes forwards. And back so you're working within the range that feels right for you you're stretching out your left hip and your right hamstring and you may find as you do this that it works be better to move the bricks back and forwards as you go and you might find that you don't need the bricks at all you can place your hands on the floor time we take the weight back stay there so we're lifting the toes towards the ceiling we're keeping right hip over the knee chest is lifted so let's try not to round through the back let's lengthen the spine and as you do push back through the sit bones and feel a stretch to the back of the right thigh you can take your hands down if you wish to go a little lower and we bend the front knee and we really look to lift the chest but sink into this right hip sorry left hip even sinking down so opening into the front of the hip the front of the thigh slowly come out of it so we'll place our bricks to one side come back to the hands and knees and just be aware of different sensations around the hips and around the lower back and then we come up we round the spine and come forwards lower the hips down same again sitting back 
So you may find that you can go a little further. Just as we loosen things up, we warm up. And then sit the bottom back, reaching those arms forwards again. Carefully walk the hands in. We're gonna stretch out the other leg. So coming up, this time we step our left foot forwards and you can position those bricks wherever feels right for you. So we're sinking forwards and then taking the weight back. So it's just a sort of form of testing the water, see how the joints feel, how the muscles feel. Thing. Try to lift the chest and lengthen the spine and then we lift up through the left side of the bottom and find that stretch to the back of the thigh. Now we can stay there or you can bring your hands to the mat but keep lifting the head and chest slightly, I don't want you to collapse. lifting the chest, bending the front knee, and we'll just open out into that right hip. So taking the weight forwards, positioning the bricks or the books, whatever you're using, and take the weight into that hip. So you may find as you hold, it releases. Taking the bricks away, coming to your hands and knees and setting the bottom back one last time. Slowly come up, you can move the bricks out of the way. You're gonna lie down onto your side, taking the pillow, resting your head on the pillow, or for this first stretch, you can actually rest your head into your hands. I'm just gonna bend that top knee, reach behind and hold the foot. And then we've got knees together and you're finding a stretch into the front of the hip. So tucking the tailbone under and we just release the front of the thigh. Carefully release. You're going to bring that pillow in so you can rest your head on it. Have both arms in front or you can bend one arm, whatever's more comfortable. And what I want you to do is to bend the top knee up. Hold it there. And we take a breath, we lift the arm and we open the chest. And then as you breathe out, come back in. So make any little adjustments you need to as you do this and see how it feels as you twist. Now you can stay with that or you can straighten that top leg forwards. Just a slightly deeper stretch and we're working gradually at opening the upper body. All sorts of clicks and crunches happening on me today. Let's bring everything back into line. you open the arm, you're going to stay there. So you can adjust the upper body position a little, breathe into the side of the body. Gently release 
release, bring the arm across, bending the knee in. So you can always now just turn and roll over to the other side, but if you want to be able to see the screen, we'll just go up to the other end. So same thing, you can position your hand anywhere you like to start with. You can have your head into your hand and we just bend the top knee, reach behind and hold on. So tucking the tailbone under, releasing tension all the way down the front of the thigh. in and then bring the knee up in front of you so settling the body and from there we lift the arm we turn and then slowly close so take it gently just seeing how far your body wants to go mine doesn't want to go very far on this side at all and if it feels right for you, we can straighten that leg. So you sort of get an L shape with the legs. And we open. Next time the arms open, stay there. Make any little adjustments that you need to, opening the chest. Carefully bring the arm in. Going to roll over onto your back. And you can keep the pillow or you can take the pillow away. Bring the knees into the chest one last time and we rock from side to side. Come back to the middle, place the feet to the floor. Find a position where you feel you can settle. So you can have your knees bent. You can slide the legs out flat. If you'd rather lie on your side, that's fine too. Let's take a moment to take a few deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. Finding that nice, easy rhythm to the breath again. And using each exhalation, so just let the body sink into the mat. And as we continue, just think about releasing every part of you. You feel your limbs become heavy, your hands and feet are light. Just check you're not squeezing your bottom or pulling in through the tummy. So your lower back can just settle into its neutral position. And then work your way along the spine. Just one vertebra at a time. Releasing all of those surrounding muscles. And feeling the back of the body just open into the floor a little. Softening the shoulder blades down. Easing the shoulders from your ears. 
and you're feeling your neck relax, your head become heavy. Relax the jaw, relax the mouth, close your eyes, just allow your features to soften as you smooth out tension from around the eyes and across the forehead so there's no frown. You feel your scalp draw back. And you just give yourself some time to relax and let your body and your mind float away. gently bring your focus back to the room and back to your body and just bring a little movement to your body so you wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes circle your hands and circle your feet just feel the movements working up through the arms and through the legs And gently take the arms up over your head and take a full body stretch, reaching out of the arms and out of the legs. And then let it go and feel those muscles relax. Do the same again, reaching out of the arms and out of the legs. And then let it go. Carefully bringing the knees into the chest. Hold on to the legs and you rock from side to side, releasing any last bits of tension. And then in your own time, place the feet to the floor 
Roll the knees to one side and bring yourself up into a seated position. So I hope you feel relaxed and calm. Try to stay that way for as long as you can and I'll see you again soon. Well done.